Welcome back to another episode of Review News Roundup. I am Wano Nang Munyalem and I'll be your news presenter for today. So diving right in are the top stories I have collected from September 16 to September 21, 2023 from the Morning Express, the Nagaland Post and the Indian Express. The headlines for this week are First meeting of One Nation, One Election to be held on September 23. Five arrested in Maharashtra for raping women in black magic rituals. Parties push for passage of Women Reservation Bill in Parliament session. Karnataka's sacred ensembles of Purisalas inscribed on UNESCO World Heritage List. Sao Chang's College hosts Faculty Development Program. Now the news in details. First meeting of One Nation, One Election to be held on September 23. Former President Ramnath Govin, who chairs the One Nation, One Election Committee on Saturday, said that its first meeting will take place on September 23. The former president confirmed the development to the media. The meeting will take place a day after the conclusion of the five-day special session of parliament, Earlier this month, the center had announced that an eight-member committee has been constituted to examine one nation, one election concept. The committee will look into the feasibility of holding not only the Lok Sabha and Assembly elections simultaneously, but also polls to municipalities and panchayats according to the Gazette notification. Five arrested in Maharashtra for raping women in black magic rituals. Five people were arrested in Maharashtra's Palgar district for allegedly repeatedly raping a 35-year-old woman for several years as part of a black magic ritual. From the family's peace and success, police said on Sunday these suspects who are friends of the victim's husband exploited her vulnerability by promising to eliminate purported vastu mistakes in her home and counteract evil spells through black magic, a police officer said. The ordeal began in April 2018 when the accused convinced the husband that her husband was under a malevolent spell to restore peace. They insisted that she participates in certain rituals. These perpetrators would visit her residence when she was alone, administer panchar mirits, which was actually a spike drink, and then sexually assault her. In addition to the sexual assaults, the accused, the accused extorted gold and money from the victim. The criminal managed to take away a total of 2.10 lakh for a cash and valuable gold. Furthermore, the Maharashtra Prevention Eradication of Human Sacrifice and Other Inhuman Evil and Agori Practices and Black Magic Act of 2013 has been invoked in this case. Palgar Superintendent of Police, Balaha Saheb, Patel said. Parties push for passage of Women's Reservation Bill in Parliament session. The government on Sunday said that an appropriate decision on the Women's Reservation Bill would be taken at the right time. Parliamentary Affairs Minister Pralhad Joshi, after an all-party meeting on the eve of the special session of Parliament, said that an appropriate decision on the passage of Women's Reservation Bill will be taken at an appropriate time. The customary all-party meeting was called by the government on Sunday on the eve of the special session of parliament where floor leaders of old parties were present. During the meeting, opposition parties by, led by the Congress sought passage of the bill in Lok Sabha. Leaders of the Congress in Lok Sabha, Adir Ranjan Chaudhary, said after the meeting that all opposition parties demanded the passage of Women's Reservation Bill during the special session. The bill also seeks to change a salary and allowance structure of top poll officers, thereby altering their service conditions from that of a judge in the top court to a cabinet secretary. Karnataka's sacred ensembles of Hoysalas inscribed on UNESCO World Heritage List. The sacred ensembles of Hoysalas, which include three temples in Karnataka, has been inscribed on the UNESCO World Heritage List. The Hoysalas temples, as they are also known, will be India's 42nd UNESCO World Heritage Site. On Sunday, Rabindranath Tagore, 
Satid Niketan, the university town in West Bengal also included as a world heritage. The announcement was made by the agency in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, where the 45th session of the World Heritage Committee is being held till September 25. India submitted the nomination those year for the sacred ensembles of the Ahoy Salas to the World Heritage Center in January 2022. The site has been on UNESCO's tentative list since 2014. The Archaeological Survey of India said after the announcement, the Ahoy Salas temple built in the 12th and 13th century by the Ahoy Sala king are dedicated to Shiva and Vishnu. The three temples include the Chaneke Shiva Temple, the main temple in the complex at Bilur, Hassan district, located at the center of traditional settlement, which is surrounded by the remnants of a mud fort and a mot, the Hoysaleswara Temple at the bank of Dwarashtra Mudra Tank in Halebidi district, Hassan district, a town which has many protected and unprotected temples, archaeological ruins and mounds, and the Kashewa temple at the center of Somana Thapura village, Mysore district. The monument testifies to the creative genius and technical expertise of the Hoysaleswara architects and art over stone carvings, a skill that remains matchless, the richly experiential and visually astounding temples that build demonstrate their creativity in translating religious beliefs and stories into sculpture. Minister of State for Culture Minakshi Leki tweeted. Sao Chang College hosts faculty development program. Sao Chang College SCC Twinzang conducted National level online faculty development program on COPO designing, mapping, attainment methods, and continuous internal evaluation from September 11 to 15. The program was jointly organized by the SCC in collaboration with the IQAC cluster, started a press release issued that may. Media cell SCC restore person were drawn from the IQAC cluster, which is a club merit of IQAC coordinators based in Pune in Maharashtra, working with a goal to create a trained and performing IQAC in higher educational institutions with right knowledge, skills, and quality tools through cooperation within the organization. It also assists to bring the remotest colleges in this mainstream of educational development and knowledge and technology as a tool for improvement. This is all for this week. Join us again at Patkai News for more weekly updates.